Hey guys, I'm gonna give it back here for the video. Guys, today we have some huge upgrades to the No Money Spent Squad. Probably the most upgrades I've had in a very long time. I told you before, guys, I've been doing a lot of grinding when it comes to the solo challenges. And we actually got done all the Thanksgiving solos, most of the Blitz solos, Great Iron Ford solos. So guys, here's what we have to show you. So last video, you remember the offensive line was booty butthole, right? Well, now the offensive line has been completely revamped. We have 92, 88, 89, 90, and 88. Of course, I got this from doing the solo challenges. Um, I actually did the yard objective list back. And I didn't realize I even had the collectible. I had the collectible in my binder, didn't realize it. So I got that 90 overall, 88. 89 92 and 88 so the offensive line now is absolutely juiced i also got a backup tight end uh to help out george kittle here of course it is evan ingram who is a budget beast if you guys have not checked out this card yet make sure you check it out he has 89 speed at tight end and he's like 10,000 coins so he's an absolute budget beast we also of course did last video upgrade michael vick completely max him out we also picked up emmanuel sanders last video now Corey davis you know still rocking with him he's pretty solid i also got deontay johnson as my sixth tight end a wide receiver here and the reason why is because he has 90 speed and all honesty he's fast and i use him for end arounds and stuff like that so he's pretty solid there i also got a backup running back got rid of that free bo jackson so i got damian harris who has like 90 speed so he's pretty solid too especially with his stats uh, with that being said, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the defense. Now, defense is completely different than last time you saw it, guys. So, starting off right away, we have a brand new strong safety, Ed Reed, the ball hawking Ed Reed, guys, coming in here at 90 speed with 91 zone coverage. I absolutely love this card. I kind of do miss used to playing this card all the time, and now he's like less than 50K. So, now he's pretty much or less than 100k. So now he's a, a easy, easy steal to pick up. We also picked up Marcus Williams. That guy was a free team in a week card a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Uh, and he actually has some pretty solid stats. I mean, 88 speed, 88 zone coverage. Overall wise, not a bad card. So wanted to pick him up, add him to this roster of free safety there. Uh, we still have our backup free safeties, Eddie Jackson. I want to uh, pick up somebody else there. Uh, John Johnson the third. I'm also working on upgrading the Cam Chancellor uh, Mutt Master. I have not had that completed yet, but I'm slowly but surely progressing there. We picked up D Bud Dupree because I was kind of looking for a really solid, you know, higher overall guy that's not going to break the bank, but also has some pretty good stats. And it was between him and I believe one other guy. I forget the other guy. The other guy has like 81 speed. So I picked up this guy right here because it's 85 speed. So he's pretty, you know, fast enough to get to the edge, fast enough to contain a stretch plays, but also still has the ability to pass rush. So overall, really good card there. Definitely a nice pickup for myself there. Uh, next thing we have here, of course, we picked up a new middle linebacker. This, of course, being Mr. Jonathan Vilma. Uh, 86 speed. I just picked him up honestly for his speed. That's pretty much the only reason why I picked him up there. Now, cornerbacks. Last video we picked up Mr. Uh, Dezel Ward. Um, in between videos, I didn't want to pick up anybody else. I was kind of thinking about upgrading my secondary even more after getting Reed and Williams, but I think I'm pretty solid right now. Now I finally got a, a finally got around to do the solo challenges to get my team captain. And I know it took me forever to get around and do these again. Like I said, I just haven't been playing no money spent squad that much. So I haven't really had the time to really go through and get done these solos. I'll say one thing you have to get done three weeks of these uh campaign companion solos campaign solos and they just take stupidly long like the first four are usually the easy ones and then you gotta play a whole game so playing three full games was mad annoying but we got it done and we actually got this card um you know ma ma maxed out yet we still have two overalls to max them out now i will say overall wise though you know between him and then the halfback sean alexander i chose him for my uh you know money spent squad and to be honest i just didn't want to use them again i already like some other running backs especially with how cheap running backs are nowadays and then for the other two i think it was the receiver just didn't need the receiver and then strong safety we're eventually gonna need camp chancellor maxed out so there's no reason to even go for the strong safety here and i will say overall this card overall wise is really freaking juiced i mean you can give up to like 85 speed so 
I'm going to go ahead and try to max him out, get those team captain tokens, and we should be able to max him out sometime very soon. I am still going for the... So right now, the cards I know I'm going to get, I'm kind of basing this team around the cards I know I'm going to get. Uh, once I get done good on Forge, I'm going to get a 92 overall left outside linebacker, Jalen Phillips. I do know I'm going to go ahead and get a free card um, on Tuesday, a free 90 overall cards on Tuesday with a team of the week promo. But I'm also going to go ahead and get a free Bo Jackson, 92 overall, once I get done the uh, Blitz objective list. So there are some cards I'm kind of basing around, you know, like I know I'm going to get a free card here, free card there. Somebody did comment down below and give me a really good idea. They said for Sue, all you have to do is go ahead and actually uh, power him up, change his position to D-tackle, and he's a pretty solid D-tackle, which he used to be actually a D-tackle. So I might do that for Sue, kind of mix match with Sue there. Uh, but overall wise guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions i know i don't have the god squad 99 overall that a lot of other people have a lot of other people are rocking right now on madden i am just currently we're slowly progressing so a little bit late here you know only honestly only in late november here so not too too bad last year i saw my new money spend squad oh lord it was that like february i think february march so at least we're starting off a little bit you know sooner than we did before but if you guys do enjoy this video, I don't mind uploading this daily content on this channel of this No Money Spend Squad. I know you guys definitely give love and support the most. Dude, I think this is the series you guys give love and support to the most. So with that being said, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And if you are rocking a No Money Spend Squad, what is your current overall you have? Me personally, I will say, you know, 88, I think it's pretty solid. I'm actually almost an 89 overall. Uh, quick thing before I end off this video, though, the way I'm making coins, by the way, guys, other than doing solo challenges, like I said before, I said always, is gap packs. Gap packs are absolutely amazing. Sad part is, though, they changed the actual store. So in order to get to gap packs now, you have to go all the way over here and you have to get over here, which kind of does suck. And again, they don't want you to do gap packs. Guess what? Gap packs are free coinage. So they don't want you to go ahead and have some free coinage. But I've been actually having some pretty dang good luck. Now, I will say, overall-wise, you guys already know my PlayStation account. I'm absolutely getting Molly Wop when it comes to opening up packs. My pack luck is got awful over there. Uh, over here, it's actually been pretty dang good, surprisingly enough. So, again, like I said, I'm not sure why I get Molly Wop on one account. And on the other account, I'm doing pretty dang good. I don't ask questions. EA Sports is a mystery above itself. Guys, you're not done so already. Make sure you go ahead and check out my Fantasy Truck Stop channel. That is Fantasy Truck Stop. I do go ahead and upload daily football content over there. Also, that Mike Gamer 2, I uploaded a uh, short video today of some Madden, uh, a Madden highlight uh, back when I went to, when I uh, drafted a team blindfolded on Madden 21. Make sure you check that out. And then Ryan Tim Tech is my uh tech youtube channel if you guys have not checked that already make sure you go ahead and give that a check out guys i'll see y'all in the next one peace out